Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are back again doing another first impressions video. It is 11.21 p.m. We just got our new Mythic Banner trailer just 20 minutes ago. I've not seen it yet, so I have no idea who the new Mythic hero is, but I'm very curious as to who it will be and I figured I'd share my reaction with you guys again. Since you guys seem to enjoy my reaction to the last uh, new Heroes banner that we got. I don't know if this will be more exciting. This is only one unit as opposed to four or five, but I'm doing it anyway. So here we are. Anyway, I have no idea who the unit could be. Um, according to the legendary slash mythic calendar, if I remember correctly, it could be any colored unit. Um, we did just get corn last month, so I don't think it's going to be a colorless unit. And before that was Hell in July, who was green, so I don't think it's going to be a green unit. So I'm left to guessing. I'm left guessing that it's going to be either a red unit or a blue unit. Now, if it were a blue unit, I'm going to assume that it's probably Freyr, who we obviously killed i think in last month's chapter but if it's red everybody keeps saying that it's gonna be plumeria and i have no idea why um i have this fun habit of leaving the quests for the last minute so i haven't done any of them i have no idea what happens to plumeria in the most recent uh chapters or maps that we've gotten uh last week or two weeks ago so i don't know what happens to her but everybody's saying that it's gonna be plumeria and I mean, what is it? Fairy of Lewd Dreams or whatever. I mean, I don't really like the overwhelming majority of original characters from Fae, but it would also make intelligent systems a lot of money if they released Plumeria right after the Brave Hero banners from last month and of course a new Tellius banner. It would be a really smart move actually. That'd be a very smart move to lure in a lot of whales. All right, anyway, enough chatter. Let's get started. Let's watch this and let's see who our new mythic hero is. Uh... Humans, you cannot help but be vulgar, can you? Okay. <sighs> a dream debased. Right. She's a dancer. Who's on this banner again? Yikes. Uh oh. Yikes. Wow. This is not good. <laughs> Okay, Makai's alright. Leaf, great. Salka, also great. Leaf, also great. Lilith, Salif, Julian. Hmm. Okay, that was really short and sweet. Ah. Uh... Or I guess I should say salty. I don't know. Okay, well, it looks like Plumeria is our new mythic. Am I shocked? Not entirely. <laughs> As I already mentioned, she is a cash grab. So many people are going to want her. So many whales are going to want her. So many people that lust after her are going to want her. Oof, my goodness. Well then. And that's actually... Oh my goodness, hold on. L All right, so let's... Let's rewind, let's go ahead and take a look at her base kit and see what she's got. Didn't look too incredibly flashy, but we'll take a look. So she is a dancer, of course, so usually dancers have lower BST. She comes with Flower of Plenty, grants res plus three, uh, attack res plus three to allies within five rows, and three columns centered on unit during combat. That's pretty nice, actually. So she's got... That's pretty nice, actually. So she's got some support capability right off the bat. Not bad. Um, Sweet Dreams grants another action to target ally and grants attack, speed, defense, rest, plus three to target ally for one turn. Okay. All right. Sorry. Inflicts attack, speed, defense, and res minus four on your foes within four spaces of target ally uh, for their next action. Okay. I believe she already had this skill originally. It's got the exclamation point because, of course, it's new that we can access but I don't think that I'm pretty sure that this is the same 
skill that she had in the previous chapters, I think. I could be wrong. Attack res push four, mm, not bad. Uh, the only unit that comes with it, I believe, is Leaf and uh, uh, Bridal Micaiah, I believe, actually has attack res push four. Sabotage speed, okay, not bad. Uh, and attack res rain three, because she is, of course, a flying unit. That is a great skill to give her. It's definitely going to give her some offensive capability. And I'm sure several units would want it. So who, how many? Hmm. I mean, I can't think of, I don't have any. Oh, I guess my Tana, my Summer Tana would love that skill. Yeah, any Tome Flyers would love that skill. Female Morgan. I literally don't remember any other Flying Tome units. Uh, but it's a great skill. The grain skills are great skills, so not bad. Um, yikes, but the units on this banner, like the very first half of the units that we got here are good, and then the other half are just not. All right, so we also got <sighs> Ephraim. Um, beautiful art, but my goodness, is he outdated at this point. And power crept by his uh, duo version. Um, Bo Lucina, who is power crept by her father, uh, mm -mm -mm. Duma, who's also not particularly in a great spot, uh, <laughs> uh, Yoon, also pretty out, my goodness, uh, and alright, we got, Bri uh, not Bridal, we got Brave Micaiah, who's, is this like, this has got to be like her second or her third time that we're seeing her on a, on a legendary banner, like, come on, it's not particularly exciting. Leaf is a really nice choice. I do wish I could pull for Leaf merges. He is a great unit. I'd love to get more merges for him. Uh, Salika is, of course, fantastic. She's still doing really solid. Other Leaf, or I guess Lith, is also doing great. Good fodder right there. Lilith is a really fantastic choice for that joint drive attack. That's a little tempting, I'm not going to lie. And Salif is pretty good, too. He's not absurdly powerful, of course, but... He's a good, I believe this is his first time being rerun on a banner, I think, so people will certainly look forward to getting merges for him. And of course, we've got Julian here as well, um, who is uh, close foil fodder. My goodness, very good fodder. I'm sure that's going to tempt quite a few people. So, I mean, all in all, what are we looking at? Plumeria is red. Who else is red? Lyph is red. And... Salif is red. Okay, so red is looking very stacked. Red is looking quite good, honestly. Um, blue. Ephraim. Lucina. And Lilith. Okay. Yikes. <sighs> Lilith is great. Joint drive attack fodder is fantastic. Would strongly recommend. But, considering you could get pity broken by Ephraim... And Lucina, I would highly advise against pulling that. Unless you're actually satisfied with either of those units, my goodness, I would not recommend pulling blue. Um, green has Yoon, Selica, who's great, and who's a third green? Oh, Micaiah. Okay, haha, <laughs> Micaiah and Yoon. That's kind of funny that they put them together on a banner. Um, Yoon is, in partic is not particularly exciting or really relevant, um, although I guess she is a good unit that would love attack res rain, as would Micaiah. Um, Micaiah's at least got attack res bond 4 and ground orders, which is really good fodder. Um, uh, but to be color sharing with... <sighs> Selica's good and Micaiah's pretty solid and Yoon's... Eh. It's a gamble. I wouldn't rec I wouldn't pull for it, but if you're if you're hungry for Salica merges, mm, mm, I don't know. Uh, colorless, who we have Duma, mm -mm. Duma, Julian, and Leaf. Okay, eh, that's bad. Julian and Leaf are great, fodder wise, and of course unit wise. Duma also is eh, not really. D Duma doesn't have anything really to offer as far as fodder goes, and I mean, you guys know me, I don't particularly care for Arena or AR, so um, I'm not going to advise on whether or not Duma really has a place in AR, but from my understanding, I don't believe he does. So, 
I don't know that I'd- I don't know. I've said this before in other videos, I just don't recommend pulling on legendary or mythic banners if you don't like at least two of the three units. If you like all three of the units in a particular color pool, by all means, go for it, because it's very rare that you're gonna love all three units and that you'll be okay with getting all three of those units. But if you if you're if you're literally just trying to snipe one unit, oh my goodness, I would not. I would save your orbs and patiently wait for the next rerun and hope that the you know the cards are better then. Because there is, n oh God, there is just nothing worse than just getting pity broken by the same legendary or mythic unit that's a focus unit, but not the one that you're focusing on. That just feels terrible. Anyway, interesting banner. Um, Plumeria isn't entirely broken, I think. I mean, she's a dancer primarily, so I'm sure most people are going to be using her in AR to, of course, dance up their units. But, I mean, she's got attack res rain, so she's certainly got more offensive capability than probably Peony. Um, surprised we still haven't seen Freya, but as I mentioned, this is definitely a really smart cash grab move, uh, move for intelligent systems. It will certainly get a few people to spend some dough for Plumeria, no doubt. She scored pretty highly in Choose Your Legends, and I'm not surprised that they weren't going to give us give uh, give her to us in a regular banner. I kind of suspected that they would throw her on a mythic banner just because, of course, that would make them the most money. Even though I loathe to see. Uh, Don't tell me the dumpster truck is actually... Anyway, I loathe to see original characters from Fire Emblem Heroes getting the legendary mythic treatment. I just don't think they deserve it, quite honestly. They don't have their own standalone console game, so I just don't think that they... I just don't think that they deserve that. I don't think they've earned the spot, the title, uh, to be a legendary or mythic hero. But that's just me. That's my little soapbox. Anyway, for anybody who is looking forward to Plumeria, congrats. Hope you enjoy her. Her and all her lewd fantasy. I'm sure her artwork is going to be fantastic. Oh, I bet her artwork is going to be fantastic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this quick little video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you haven't already heard, I am officially a Twitch affiliate now, and all of my streaming has moved over to Twitch. So, if you'd like to join us for Rival Domain matches on Saturdays and Sundays, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire on Thursdays, and now Super Mario Sunshine on Tuesdays, feel free to join us. We have a great time over on my Twitch channel. All my social links are down in the description below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. Happy saving, happy summoning, and take care. Goodbye.